The Bible speaks frequently about God's will for our lives, calling us to seek His guidance, trust in His purposes, and align our hearts with His plans. Here are some key verses that address God's will. Seeking God's will. Matthew chapter 6 verse 10, Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This is part of the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus teaches us to pray for God's will to be done in our lives and on earth. Romans chapter 12 verse 2, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. This verse emphasizes the importance of transformation and discernment to understand God's will. Psalm chapter 143 verse 10, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. A prayer asking God to teach us to do his will. God's will for our salvation. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 4. This is good, and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. God's will is that all people come to salvation through Jesus Christ. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. God's will is for everyone to repent and come to salvation. Living in God's will First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 4 It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable. God's will for our lives involves living in purity and holiness. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 15, For it is God's will that by doing good you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish people. God's will is that we live righteous lives that bear witness to his truth. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God's will includes living a life of joy, prayer, and gratitude. God's will for our relationships. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. We are called to understand God's will in our relationships and how we live with others. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 14 Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. This passage highlights how living in God's will involves showing love, compassion, and forgiveness in our relationships. Understanding and obeying God's will John chapter 7 verse 17 anyone who chooses to do the will of God will find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own obedience to God's will leads to a deeper understanding of his truth Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2021 now may the God of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus that great shepherd of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.
God equips us to do his will, and he works in us to accomplish his purposes. God's sovereign will Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 9 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declares the Lord as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts this verse reminds us that God's will and understanding are far greater than ours Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21 many are the plans in a person's heart but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. While we may have many plans, it is ultimately God's will that will be fulfilled. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11, In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. God works out his will and purpose in our lives according to his divine plan. Praying for God's will. Luke chapter 22 verse 42, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Jesus' prayer in Gethsemane, showing that even in suffering, God's will takes precedence. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39, going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. A powerful example of surrendering our will to God's. These verses emphasize that God's will is good, pleasing, and perfect, even when it's difficult to understand. They encourage us to trust in God's timing, follow his guidance, and submit our desires to his sovereign purposes.